Lithium inhalation is often recommended as a natural remedy for cold and cough symptoms, but did you know that it can be dangerous for children? Often, burns occur on their hands, which may require skin graft. Therefore, it is crucial to raise public awareness of the hazards associated with steam inhalation. Most accidents happen because children are curious and may grab the hot water, causing it to spill on their hands, abdomens, and thighs. It is generally quite stressful for children to inhale hot steam by sitting bent over a bowl of hot water with a towel on their head. Inhalation using an inhalation device is not only more effective but also more pleasant for children. Child-friendly masks that fit well are available, which make inhalation simple. Contrary to popular belief, inhaling hot steam is not effective in reaching the lower airways. The substances dissolved in the water, such as salt, do not vaporize during evaporation and instead remain in the pan. Evaporation only provides moisture, which reaches the upper airways such as the nose and throat, but not the bronchi and lungs where the mucus triggering coughing is found and needs to be dislodged through inhalation. Pediatricians advise parents and patients to use a nebulizer for inhalation instead of inhaling steam. They explain that nebulization is the only effective method of inhalation, and using an inhalation device with a jet or membrane nebulizer is the only way to ensure that the fluid being inhaled is vaporized into tiny particles. Only very fine nebulized particles can get into the bronchi and bronchioles, making an impact. Inhaling hot water vapor does not guarantee the same results. So, let's keep our children safe and healthy by avoiding steam inhalation and using a nebulizer instead.